I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We're here on official Fabletown business. And we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. Okay. Lawrence, you in there? Hey, open up! It's Bigby. I need to talk to you. He did. All right, we'll try this out. Guess we're out of options. Come on, help me up. figure out what the hell is are. going on here. Who would do this to them? I don't know, Snow. I mean, the dad could still be alive. Always help was a hand. There's a lot to look at. shirt. They never really look okay. peaceful, do they? It's a stupid thing to say. I wouldn't know. Uh, that was a very Damn. delayed achievement, Pop. Sleeping pills. That doesn't really help. <laughs> what is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. It matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. Okay, and there's nothing over there. It's 
sharp. There's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Maybe he killed himself. Or maybe she killed him. I don't know. We'll find Strange. Out. Hard edge to this like pool, like five or whatever. Something was here and got moved. Still oh, the bed. Sticky. They got one of those beds that goes up in the uh, in the wall. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. How did the bed last? Very good, detective. Pull it past through the chair. Go up? Did he like shoot up? Snow, could you uh, stand over there? Point towards Lawrence, as if you're the shooter. This is. feels yeah, strange. Just shot up. What are you thinking? The slug he shot himself. Gone over there, right behind him, not here. Right. So the shooter stood somewhere else. Maybe. We don't have the whole story. His hand is stuck in the position of a shooter, too, and it was by his hand. He shot himself. Come on, guys. And then the bed went up. Son of a... What is that? It's stuck to the bed a little. Can we, can we read it now? My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. It's stuck to the bed. How did it get stuck to the bed? I should know his face. The blood would have to there be under. There are so few of us. The letter was placed. I should know his face. <gasps> oh my God, Bigby, he's alive. He blinked. What? what are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh. What's going on? We found you here, in your chair, with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart, have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that snow. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Why? What? What's this about? We found your note. I made a decision for us. It felt like the only way out, so I shot myself in the heart. I uh, thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. Probably had a lung. Great. Uh, at least that's how I think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. Thought it was. Bad dream. <laughs> Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I, I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done that to her. I did what I could to keep her away. Done what? What but did she do? she still worries about me. She comes by. Make sure I'm okay. I'm a 
a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me. Without me being here to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. I just wish oh, I could have you done didn't better kill her. her. She's always been there for me. I'm sorry to inform you that your wife has been killed. No. No. No, no, no. I knew this would happen. No, I'm sorry. I am. But I'm gonna need you to help me find whoever did this. So you need to try and remember anything that could possibly help us. Fuck, Georgie! Oh, okay, fucking Georgie. He's our suspect. Lawrence. Write that down, fucking Georgie. Do you... Are you expecting anyone? I'll see who it is. No, wait. We need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. Think about uh, your wife. Yes. Give me back the gun, just in case. You're gonna shoot them. Stay here. No. <laughs> He's about to kill himself. <laughs> like, wait, why did we give him the gun back? Hey, this guy's suicidal. Stop. Leave me alone. Tapping a shit. He almost did. The fuck. You bitch. <laughs> nope. He's up, Bigby. We're on the same side here. You. Jeez. Who is son this of fat a bitch. Guy? Make me run after you. Why were you looking through books, huh? <laughs> the same thing you should be doing investigating, looking for clues. 
the fuck you doing hiding in closets? Fuck, man. Fuck, man! I'm asking the questions. You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Ah, oh, don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Ah, I fucking knew it. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd yep. go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. We should check in on Toad. See if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. Toad might be dead. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. It looks worse in the day. I don't think anybody's here. <laughs> Went to the wall. We came all this way for nothing. <laughs> all right, son. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. Son? Toads? I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad! You in there? I'll try. <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. We heard someone crying. Oh, the boy stubbed his toe on the bed frame is all. It stinks, you know, but it's nothing to kick up a fuss about. A little tub swim, he'll be right as rain, I'm sure. Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, be lying. really. Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes, so just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. TJ? Are you all right? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could, perhaps, let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. 
Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Sure. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. How'd this lamp get smashed? Uh -huh. huh? The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing sods and swordfish. Who knows with the lad? They do that. Busted too. This place is falling apart. Eh? Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. <laughs> no, I think you're lying. Most people think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, but I'm worried. He has two huge bruises on his arms. He won't tell me why, and he acted nervous when I brought it up. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. Go oh, beat up a frog. Get that thing fixed. Look, you want me out of here? I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming. That's all. It's just some wood rot. Not mold or anything. You bleeding? Why? Is that... It's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. What's this? There's more What's blood this poker here. doing here? On the poker? Yeah. Oh, shit. What happened? Oh, well, that's... That's how it happened, didn't it? I was... I was poking the coals, and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. <laughs> Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. <laughs> oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. <laughs> but I'm not... And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. <laughs> you just stop lying. Tell me what happened. Ooh. Scratch marks. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, I... No, there's marks here on the windowsill. And what's that about? No real reason. 
just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright tizzy, mate, beast. as you would be. <laughs> I probably forgot gone. the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Uh, mm. The new uh, Shaking Stevens album mm. yet? Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running. Didn't stop the recycling. What's the point of all this, mate? Really? But you wouldn't need keys since the lock's broken, so. Why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head. That's all it was. I forgot the fucking handle was fucking busted. <laughs> and I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing. You're bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Also, this plug... Place needs a bit of dusting, I suppose. I tried to talk to Toad here. Toad, I know you're lying about the door. Fucking hell, Big B, I forgot my keys. Can't a grown frog just forget his latch for a bit? This wood might have rotted, but it just made the kicking it in part easier. I know you, Toad. You'd sleep in your smashed up car's glove box before you think to climb in the fucking window. Answer. Just tell me what's going on. God damn it. Is there more? There's a mark over I'm not here, missing too. Anything, am I? What do you mean? Ah. There's a clean space in the dust over here. Ah, oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? <laughs> Gee, what shape is that lamp over there? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I did it. some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this, this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet, you say, to my face, that you think I'm hiding something from you? <laughs> well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me. 
I don't think... Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? <laughs> Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. It's your head. Take off the hat. <laughs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman ain't. Or thought he ain't, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come uh -huh. in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. We were lucky it didn't go any further. What did you tell him? Nothing. There's nothing he wanted to know, except if I had this thing that he wanted. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give a bounce to the coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes. Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. <laughs> well, merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Oh, it's that donkey skin. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Yep, the donkey skin. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. Mysterious it's object. Like it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Very Prince good. Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Don't make it a dilemma. Just open it. <laughs> Big B. Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. <laughs> like that. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? And if you're looking for the woodsman, try down at the trip trap. Is that a titty bar? Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now, anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know, someone who will know where to find him. It's my best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. Thank you for watching. I, I appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and all of that other fun stuff. I'm going to have a lot more videos coming in the future. Uh, anything that you want to request, uh, any of that stuff, I'll play it. Um, yeah. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.